Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodman, and over there, popping soda cans is Christopher Draves. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. Our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585, or you can visit their website at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. Nice Wayne's World world impersonation. Yeah. I really wish they would sponsor us because I drink enough of their sodas on camera. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. But it has to be Cherry Coke. You forgot to add that because don't you like Cherry Coke? I don't care soda, soda, as long as it's got caffeine. All righty. So, um, before we get into that, uh, Cal Yardcrock, Cal Yardcrock, first star of the week for the NHL. Congratulations, Callie. Uh, well done. Uh, six points over four games. Um, only one player the whole week scored more points, and you still beat him out, and that's Connor McDavid. Yeah, that's kind of hard to do. But McDavid, uh, I don't know. He's going to hit a slow patch soon. Yeah. Um, he always so, does, but he always ends up one or two in points every year. So with that being said, let's get into why we're here. Oh, we're going to rip referees? Yeah, well, that that's coming uh, at the end of our show. Stay very tuned to the end of our show. I have a lot to say. Yeah, don't worry. We're not ignoring stuff. We're just putting certain things toward the end to try to get you to watch longer. All righty. So today the Nashville Predators took on the Detroit Red Wings or the uh, Detroit Grand Women. Rapids Griffins. The uh, Detroit Women. What's wrong? One. There we go. All oh. righty, stats. All right, shots on goal were uh, 34-31 for the uh, Predators. Um, gee, thanks, tech issues. Hold on, I got it. No, I don't. Anyways, uh, face-off percentage, uh, 51% for the Predators, 49 for the Red Wings. Red Wings were 0 for 3 on the power play. Predators, one for two. Penalty minutes for eight for the Preds, six for the Red Wings. Hits for 11 7 Red Wings. Block shots were 13 9 for the Predators. Giveaways, 9 7 for the Red Wings. All right. Uh, Nashville outshot Detroit 12 to 8 in the first. Uh, yeah, thank you, because my computer won't let me read what you're about to read. So you uh, read. In the second, Nashville outshot Detroit 15-12 uh, in the second. And uh, Detroit outshot Nashville 11-7 in the third. Hey, let me read the first period, because uh, I was trying to read what you read, but my computer decided to crap off. All right, I'll take the herd. You'll take the what? Herd. I'll get to it in a second. Ah. Go ahead. Try. It. All <laughs> right. In the first period, oh crap! I hate yellow on white. At the thirteen fifty nine mark of the third, we had Mikel Granlin getting his sixth goal of the year with an assist from Roman Yossi, his fifteenth, and Ellie Tolvin in his sixth. That's right, Tolvin, and keep on racking up points in the rookie race. Uh, second, all right, you want to do the second or can I? All right, second period, it was the herd line. The herd line, if you ever want to know, Matthew Olivier, a.k.a. the Biloxi Bull, Yakov Trenin, a.k.a. the Yak, and Colton Sissons, a.k.a. Colt, you know, the herd. Um, I so want to flip off my computer right now, but keep <laughs> going. Uh, scored uh, Olivier's second goal of the year uh, with an assist from Yakov Trenin, his third, and Colton Sissons, his first of the year. Oh. That was at the 10:41 mark. Um, no other stats in this game. Uh, goal they there. might see my head explode. <laughs> my computer is really giving me issues right now. I'm surprised you guys are capable of listening to me. All righty. Uh, in that for Detroit was Tomas Grice. He stopped. 32 of 34 with a point nine four one same percentage. Man, that guy was flapping around like a fish trying to stop. He was flopping around more than LeBron. I wasn't trying to do that in case uh, we hurt certain players' feelings. 
nah, feelings are not spared today. I'll get into that next person later in a second after I get done with this. Uh, in that for the Nashville Predators, obviously with a shutout, stopping 31 to 31. Ye, the juice, you see Saros. Congratulations, Saros. You come back from the IR and you get a shutout. All right. And just like a second game back. Uh, third, and in that in those three in his last four games, he is four and one with a zero point eight zero save. In his last four games, he's three and one. How can you be four and one in your last three? I said last five. He's. I didn't. You said your last four. Okay, in his last five, he is four and one. He <laughs> has a goal. Just trying to help you. He has a goals against average of zero point. Eight zero with a save percentage of point nine seven nine. Yikes! By the way, uh, congratulations to Illy Tolvanen. He credits himself for eight points out of the last twelve Nashville Predators power plays. Yeah, he's yeah. good on the power play. I thought we established this. All right, head coach for Detroit is Jeff Blashill. Head coach for Nashville is John Hines. If you notice, I'm skipping a part. I will get to that in a second. Uh, uh, Dan, you're skipping a part. Yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> scratches for Detroit is Evgeny, Evgeny Spechnikov, Christian Juice, and Jonathan Bernier. Scratches for Nashville are uh, Michael McCarron and Mark Morveski. Your referee are blind. Kelly well, your referee is Kelly Sutherland. Your linesmen are Kyle Flemington and James Tobias. And your relative, I could say donkey, is Tim Peel. Peel. Tim Peel. I'm taking my hat off for this one. I got a lot to say. Tim Peel, if you're going to say something that's incriminating, Make sure the microphone is off. If you are going to say something that is incriminating, do not do it by the press side of the bench. Do not do it while you have a live mic attached to you. And yeah, definitely... make sure the microphone's off. <laughs> Keyword. We heard what you said, dipshit. Whoop. Eh, he is. Here's the thing. If you are dumb enough to open your mouth, you have to suffer the consequences of whatever comes your way. If you get fired tomorrow, guess what? That's on you for literally say, proving to us for the last four years what I've said about Tim Peel is true. That you are biased against Nashville, and guess what? Now we got audio proof. If you don't believe it, you could probably check our Facebook page. If Dan didn't put it up there, I should hit it. Or you can check my Twitter as FanDan45 or his what? Chris, Chris underscore Draves. Uh, I didn't 85. catch it on Twitter because I was busy watching. I have it tagged on your page. You're good. <laughs> on my what page? Twitter. Oh, uh, so in order for me to see it, I'm going to have to go to. Yeah, yeah. Because I heard uh, you and some people in our group chat talking about it. I didn't know what the hell was going on. Yes, okay, so uh, I'm going to... Clearly, uh, they didn't catch it on TV or else I would have caught it. I think uh, Chris Mason made mention of it, like, ooh, referee might need to... He said something that I was like, what are you talking about? He, oh, he apologized for the language because he swore onto a lot, Mike. Who did? The referee. Oh, ah, so he swore in did he? I'm I'm going to play the audio for you people. This is not a representation of us nor our sponsors, so please bear with us. I'm just gonna play the audio so we're you gonna guys get can... demonetized because we don't have permission to play it. Thanks. No, we're not. We have permission to play it in fair use of uh, educational purposes. Yeah, but I don't want to get demonetized. You know how that goes. So far our videos are monetizable, if that's a word. Okay, okay, so Mason was apologizing for the referee, okay. So, when you, Tim Peel, you cannot say something like that into a hot mic, and I say hot mic because now you're on the hot seat as far as... No, no, it's a a hot mic. Oh, yeah, because trust me, 
because trust me, the Preds have already put it out on their Twitter page. There's all of their media guys are on it. Um, there's there's people like me who are sending it to TSN and everybody else. Um, there's there's yes, I sent it to TSN. <laughs> I'm sure they already know. I'm sure they do. And it's I sent TSN. it TSN already know it's hockey. I also sent it to NHLPA and uh, the net, uh, NHL Public Relations. Oh, and I'm sure those people are going to ignore that because, you know, it's Nashville. What? I don't have faith in NHL doing anything to stick up for Nashville. But if they do, we'll be quiet on that, Mark. <laughs> we'll finally just... <laughs> but until uh... then, until then, you know... It, oh, it, if uh, if they do something, I will no longer say uh, Nashville yellow is ugly, but I still won't buy a jersey because I already got Predator jerseys. And you can buy those at NashvillePredatorsLockerRoom.com. All right, so or Nashville, Nashville Locker, Locker Room. NashvilleLockerRoom.com, you can buy this. Which is a nice jersey. I like that camel. Or that hat looks cool, but I think all you did was paid for the bill. Look how cool the inside of that looks, people. Yeah. You had a logo on the hat. Looks like a kindergartner did it, but the bill of the hat looks cool. No, yeah, seriously, I, Dan, I, that's a, a little, nice looking A little hat. yellow in the eye would have been a nice touch, but you could get – this hat is really comfy and really cool looking if you get a good look at it. Yeah. <laughs> Camera does it no justice. No. Yeah, but the bill of the hat's cool. I do like it because it looks like the inside of the arena. That's what I like about the bill. All right. So with all that being said, uh, referees, Tim- you're an idiot. <laughs> Tim Pool or I, uh, what's his name? Uh, Tim Peel. Peel, Peel. Whoops, sorry, Tim Pool. I'm a big fan of you as a journalist. Tim uh, Peel, you suck as referee. What I'm not trying to blast one of my favorite journalists, so I had to specify Tim Pool is a good journalist. All right, with with outside, Woo-hoo, out, I made Dan Rawls eyes. With all that being said, um, Nashville finds themselves four points out, and if they say win the next game and sweep the Blackhawks, they will find themselves in that fourth spot. Yeah. Yikes. <laughs> and we have 24 games to play now. Yeah, and if you really look at it, if we find ourselves in that spot and Florida keeps falling, there's a chance we could catch them. Well, Bar- well, Barkov's out with a lower body, so who knows how long he'll be gone. So that could uh, hurt Florida. So with that being said, uh, stay tuned. We're going to keep you guys as up to date on this is possible i will upload that video shortly to our facebook page so check that out yeah that's why it's important that you subscribe on youtube and like us on facebook also for this exact reason yep also um while you're online check out milwaukeeadmirals.com they will hook you up that if you're looking for tickets they got flex plans they got season tickets they got half seasons yeah they got merch they got a ton of that. Yeah, they got a ton of that. They got some of the best hats in the biz. So you agreed. Know. Why do you think I like wearing them? Um, if you guys are, uh, for those of you who follow the AHL, if you were wondering why we're not talking about the Chicago Wolves, COVID, thanks to the Iowa Wild, uh, the last time they played the Wolves, uh, there was. And COVID. we're not covering the Wolves because this is from Milwaukee to Nashville, not. A uh, side trip to Chicago because of COVID. Okay, that's not part of the show. I, I meant like giving updates. Well, we, we haven't we, done we, it we in, the been giving, in a while. We have, but we do give periodic updates on how they're doing. So oh, yeah, yeah. throughout our shows, if you're wondering why we haven't talked about them in a while, it's because they haven't played in a while. So well, that, COVID's doing that to everybody. Uh, yeah, just look at Montreal and Boston and Anaheim right now. Just those three. Well, well Montreal and Anaheim have been confirmed. They're not going to open up until Monday. So after the games were fried, which they wanted to do, they didn't have to until Monday. So, yeah, the end of the year is going to suck for those two teams. Father, uh, January 
All righty. But all right, folks, uh, this has been from Milwaukee to Nashville. We will see you guys tomorrow with the Florida Everblades taking on the Wheeling Nailers. Yeah, Dan, yeah I, know, I haven't had to do that in a while. All right, man, we'll talk to you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Peace.